Welcome to Out West Country Living. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Rob has been working up above Laksa Lodge, and so Ivy and I decided to go up and visit. He has a wonderful campsite. It's on private ground, located off the road that goes to Elk Summit. It's very quiet, very secluded, so it was a wonderful place to spend the night. The next morning when Rob left for work, I decided that Ivy and I would go to a place called Grave Peak Lookout. I had looked it up on the internet and it had been suggested that it might be a difficult hike, but I thought, eh, it's only four and a half miles, how difficult can that be? Well, I'm about to find out. If you're interested in this hike, I listed in the description below places that I went to to learn about it before I went there. Again, I had failed to remember to bring my chainsaw, so I was hoping that I wasn't going to run into any of those downed trees that I couldn't get by. The trail starts out on this wide path that you go downhill, which means at the end of the day you're going to be going uphill. And it was a nice easy path to go down. Um, the first sign I came to was this one, and then you have the wilderness boundary. The trail along here is nice and level, so you really want to enjoy it because it's going to be the last nice level trail you see for a while. This is where the trail starts up. I don't think I've ever hiked where the view started so soon and lasted almost the entire trip. It's just a beautiful hike. Ivy, what are you doing? Ivy, what are you doing? I evidently took the wrong trail and I must be at the lower lake. Hmm. Who knew? I thought I was at the lower lake of the Wind Lakes, but I wasn't. This is Swamp Lake and I was exactly where I was supposed to be. I was really happy that these little cricks showed up ever so often because when I left the camper in the morning I meant to grab another bottle because I only had two bottles of water. But I had forgotten to grab that third bottle so it was good that we had more water because I'd already almost used one bottle on Ivy before we started getting to the little cricks. trail just keeps going up and up. I'm grateful it's not sunny. I think I'd be dying. <sighs> I was pretty sure that if the sun was out there was probably going to be another grave at the top of Grave Peak Lookout and it was going to be mine. Thank you. 
I missed the turn off to the trail that goes to Grave Peak Lookout, so I just walked over to the edge of Friday Pass and looked around and saw all these beautiful sights. So I went back and picked up the trail, and it still looked like a long ways to the lookout. One of the rocks on top of this pass looked exactly like a rabbit, and I took tons of pictures of it, but I never could get it to turn out. I never got the right angle. Well, this is the trail, so I'm on my way to the lookout, I guess. We'll see what happens. I didn't bring my GPS with me but I prefer not to rely on one of those. I have a pretty good sense of direction, and things can happen to mechanical items, as you know, and batteries die, so I just prefer not to rely on them, although a backup would be okay. So, to say this has been challenging is an understatement. So I'm on the last leg to the top. Please, Lord, give me strength. I'm so grateful it's not sunny and hot. I don't think I'd make it. <sighs> nope. I don't think so. As you can tell from the grass and the trees, the wind is picking up as I get closer to the top. There's a storm to my left and a storm to my right, and I'm a little concerned, but I just decided to hurry up and get there and get off the mountain. When I get to the lookout, it's really windy, so I don't waste much time up there. I wander around the outside. I hear thunder in the distance, which also encourages me to get back down the mountain. I didn't realize that I had missed the steps up to the lookout. I just kind of climbed around on some rocks, but they're really interesting steps. This is them right there. When I turned off of the trail to come to the lookout, there was a trail that went down toward the lakes that was actually looked like it was in better shape. So when I go back down, I decide that I might as well just drop down into the lakes and go out that way. <sighs> Can't find the trail, so we're just going to drop off into... Oh, I think I see a trail down there. Yes. I hope so. Okay. See what we can do here. I hadn't gone down that trail very far when I ran into that boulder patch. And so I just hoped Ivy could get through it and we just kind of muttered our way through. And then when I got down to that small lake, I couldn't find a trail I thought I had, but it wasn't. So I got to thinking and I thought if I just walked around the mountain, I should come into the trail that came down from Friday Ridge. 
So that's what I did, and it worked out well. I hit the trail, and down to the lake I went. There was no one at the lake when we got there. So we ate our lunch, and Ivy had a little snooze before we took off again. Um, there's no signage, as usual, around this lake, so I didn't know which trail to take. Coming back a different way, I don't really know where I am, but I finally saw a sign so I know that I can get back where I'm supposed to be. This trail is a lot nicer. There's shade and it's not as steep and it's just definitely the way to go to the lakes. And I'm not ever going to go to that lookout again, so I don't have to worry about that. So. This is the way, I think. I haven't made it over Friday Pass yet, or Friday Saddle, or whatever it's called. Good girl, Miss Ivy. I wish there was more signs. I think I chose the longest route. If I'd have gone back over Friday Ridge, I think it probably would have been shorter. There's just hardly any signs that I saw anyway in this area. I got to kind of a big meadow and there were trails going everywhere. There had been horses in there and packers and backpackers and so I didn't really know where to go to get to Friday Pass but I figured I needed to head toward the creek and sure enough there was a crossing there so then I knew I was going the right direction and that was the right path. a few grassy places where I lost the trail on the way out, but I just roamed about and muttered around until I finally found the trail again, so it wasn't really that difficult to pick up the trail. The wildflower season was mostly over, but there were a few still hanging about. Actually, it's starting to kind of look like early fall up there. I left at 8.15 in the morning and I got back to the pickup at 5.15 in the afternoon. As we came up out of that last draw to the pickup, Ivy knew where she was so she just headed on over. She came back looking for me because I kept getting detoured by these sweet little huckleberries. Teeny tiny things but boy they were good. <laughs> 